So even though this isn't on the top five list of things that doctors worry about or patients worry about, when you are hypothyroid, you are going to have an elevated LDL cholesterol and ApoB Correct. above what your baseline should be because of the lack of T3 In the and LDL receptor function. Okay. What you're saying, which I did not know, by the way, and that's why I want to restate it, just because you fix TSH and T3 and free T3 in the periphery, which is what you're measuring, you may not have fixed it in the liver, and therefore you may still have ineffective LDL clearance. That's, th yes, but we, do, we don't fix T3 or free T3. We fix, we fix TSH. it indirectly. Yes, 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 yes. What we do is we fix TSH, we fix free T4, we think we fix T3. But we don't know we don't that know. for a fact. Yep. And the liver in the rats, I, we did these studies, the liver remained hypothyroid. We measure a lot of enzymes and genes in the liver. And as a result, well, wh what happens in the clinic? A patient comes, oh, your t cholesterol is slightly elevated. I'll give you statin. Number one co-medication with levothyroxine. But that tells me the liver has a problem. That patient has an issue. The metabolism has not returned to normal, and I have to give a statin for that patient. So, therefore, part of the mortality, I am uh, positive, comes from the fact that we are not restoring systemic euthyroidism as much as we think we do based on TSH. Now, to confirm this, we compared, the, the, so the study we just published compares 1.1 million patients with hypothyroidism being replaced with 1.1 1 million, 1 .1 million patients that went for a checkup with a healthy thyroid. And they were followed retrospectively, but longitudinally for 20 years. Now, we did the same thing with about 90,000 patients taking levothyroxine and 90,000 patients taking combination therapy, T4 and T3. 